Hey guys, Yunane here, and welcome to another Unreal Engine Blueprint tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be making a grappling hook. Let me show you what we're going to make. First, let's jump on this. As you can see, we've got a cable coming from our uh, belly. Doesn't matter where from, <laughs> it works. And you can just latch onto things, and if you press spacebar while you while you move, you actually keep your momentum, so that's pretty uh, pretty cool. So if you uh, hook onto that and then press spacebar, you keep going. Yep, that's pretty much what we're uh, going to make. Also, when you uh, latch onto uh, something and you're hooked and you press spacebar, you automatically jump up a little bit, which is uh, pretty neat if you uh, hook really close to the a block <laughs> and you can just jump on top of it it's pretty handy okay let me just load up a fresh project and then I'm gonna show you how to make it see you in a bit welcome to a fresh new project uh, as you can see I only added the map so I can test uh, the grappling hook out that's the only thing I did I added that map to this project don't worry about the project, I'll be adding the project to the description in this uh, in this video. So you can uh, look at it at your own uh, leisure. And if there's any issues, you can just load that project, see what's wrong, and then fix it yourself if you want. Okay. First of all, let's go into the Blueprints folder. Let's go to the first person character. We'll be uh, doing most of our stuff in here. Actually, all of our stuff, so it's uh, it's fine. Let's get rid of this spawn projectile. We don't need that. That's only for shooting the gun. We don't want to shoot the gun anyway. It's a bit annoying when you first launch the project and you shoot and it's really loud. Okay. That's all we need to do in here. Compile it for a moment. Okay, let's go into the viewport. And we're going to be adding a cable to this uh, first person character. There we got it, cable. Let's select that and let's call it Grebel Line. Okay. Need to do a few settings on this. Uh, let's set the cable length to zero. Uh, the number of segments to about five. And we can set the iteration to about two. Doesn't really matter that much. The cable width, we can make it a little bit smaller, like six. And the number of sides is fine, the tiling is fine. Okay, that's about it, what we need to do here. Um, let's go into the event graph. First of all, let's set up some um, some stuff when we begin to play. So let's go event begin play. That's good. We're going to set the grapple line to be invisible at the start. We don't want it shown when we're uh, just running around. So set visibility. Okay, set to uh, to false, so that's good. Then we're gonna set the cable length. I'm gonna set that to zero at the start, and then let's drag out another one. Set the cable width as well. Cable width. Set that to six. It's the same as uh, what we set it uh, in the viewport. But this way it's always the same uh, same size when we start the game. Okay, and now we're going to set the end location. Set end location. We're going to set that to zero. Now this is going to be a little weird because I'm moving the starting point is going to be my end point. Because for some re weird reason in first person the end location is always behind you. You have to do some tricky rotations and stuff. I don't want to do that. Let's just make it easy for ourselves and set the end location to be our starting location of the rope. Okay, let's set up a key. Let's use F to use as our grappling uh, key. Uh, let's first do a line trace. Line trace by... Line trace for objects. There we go. Okay, now what type of objects do we want? Let's make an array for this. And let's add a pin. We want two objects where we can hook onto. 
which is going to be the world static, and it's going to be world dynamic. Those two um, objects are the ones we can hook onto. Okay. Now we need a start location and an end location. We've done this countless of times, but let's do it again. We're going to need our first person camera. Then we're going to get the world location. And we're going to get the forward vector. Now the forward vector, we're going to multiply by a float. This is going to be the length uh, in which we can hook onto a building. So how long we can throw the rope. So let's set this to 5,000. It's pretty long, but it's fine. You can always tweak this later if you want. Okay, let's add that to, let's add a vector. Let's add that to the location. And that's gonna be our, ooh, that's gonna be our end location. If I can click, there we go. And the world location is just the starting location. Okay, now we need to check if we hit something. So in the out hit, we're gonna break this hit result. And we're gonna check the return value here. We branch. We're gonna check if we hit something, yes or no. Now, if we hit something, true. We're gonna set a variable here. So let's make a variable on the left here. Let's make a Boolean. Let's call it hooked. And let's set hooked to be true when we hit something. Now let's duplicate that by pressing Ctrl W and set it to false if we didn't hit anything. Okay. Now we need another variable to check what the hook location is. So let's call it hook location. This is going to be a vector. And let's set that over here. Okay, and let's set it to the location. Okay. So if we hit something with our trace, we set it to set the hooked to true, and we set the location to the location we hit with our uh, with a trace line. Okay. Now that we've done that. Let's make a couple of extra functions which we're going to need. So let's make one that's called move rope. Because we want to move our rope towards the location we hit with our, um, with our trace line. So we want it to go there, not just instantly appear. We want it to uh, look a little bit more cool. So let's add the move rope. First thing we do is set the visibility on grappling line. Okay, let's drag the grapple line in here and then set the visibility. Because it's still um, invisible, we need to set it to true so that it shows. Okay. Now that if we've done that, let's add a branch. This branch is used to check if we uh, got to the location yet. So let's get the world location of the grapple line world location and we're going to check if it reached the hook location yet so get the hook location then we're going to minus with the hook location the word location and then we're going to check the length get factor length we're going to check if this length is smaller or even than uh, about 100 units. So if it's in that vicinity, it uh, reaches this location. So it can stop moving uh, the rope. Okay. If it hasn't reached its location yet, we need to set the world location of the of the grappling hook. Let's just drag off the grapple line. It's easier. And then set world location. Then we got the right one right away. Okay. Set it to the false. Now we need to evaluate if we are within reach of the of the location. So we need to check every frame how far we still need to go. 
So we're going to do that with another function called vinterp, vinterp2. And then check where we are at the moment, the world location, and where we're going, the target, the hook location. Now the delta time is the time each frame is taking. So get world delta seconds is, every, is this, the number of seconds each frame has passed. Now how much speed are we going to give the, the rope? How much times uh, is this function going to run, essentially? Um, let's do about 40, uh, maybe 35. So that's, that's essentially the speed of the interpolation. You can tweak that if you want. You can make it slower, you can set it to 5 and it goes really slow before it gets there. <laughs> or you can set it higher and then it reaches its position quicker. Okay, set the world location, that's fine. Now we just need to um, set an output boolean, which is going to return if we uh, reach our location yet. So let's call this um, reached location. And if it's true, we're going to set it to true. And let's duplicate that. Control W. And set it to false if we haven't reached the location yet. Okay, that's all we need to do for this function. Now we need another function that actually moves our grappled player. So let's make that function now. Go in here. Let's call it move grappled player. Why not? Okay. Now we're going to be using the launch character uh, function again. Such a fun uh, function. Let's enable XI override and Z override. You'll see in game what I mean uh, by that. Okay, let's um, get our hook location. Yep, hook location. Let's get that. Then we need to check. So let's minus it vector with our current player pawn location. So get the actor location from this. Get actor location. Okay, so we got our hook location minus the actor location, and that we're gonna multiply by a float, which is gonna be the speed at which the, the character will move each delta time. So we need to get world delta time again, get world delta seconds, and we're gonna multiply that by float, and this will be the speed in which the player will move towards uh, the grapple location. So you can just toy around with this. If you want it to be faster or slower, you can adjust this value here. That's pretty much uh, all we have to do in this function. So let's save that as well. Oh, saving the map as well. Oh, well. Okay, let's go back to our event graph and let's start making the most important function, the event tick function. Okay, let's add a event tick function. And let's branch right away. We need to check if we're actually uh, hooked on to something. So let's check our hooked var variable. And then if it's true, we need to do another branch. And we actually need to check if our rope has actually finished reaching that location. So we're going to need another variable here, which is going to be hook move location no, hook move finished. If our hook finished his move towards the location we uh, we've hit, which is going to be a boolean, then we'll be able to move the player. So let's add that. Cool. Now if it's false, we need to move the rope. So call our function move rope. And we need to set our hook move finished to this one that's coming out of the out of the move rope. This way, we um, it checks every uh, every couple of seconds if it's actually reached the location. If it's reached the location, then we're gonna launch our player. So use the function move grapple player, 
There we go. There's a couple of issues with the the, the actual rope that's coming out our out of our chest, which is um, because it's not being updated that much anymore after it uh, is moving the the player. So we need to adjust that a little bit. So let's do a, a grapple line. Let's grab that in here. Let's get world location. And let's grab a hooked location. And then we're gonna use another V interp. Okay, set that to current, set the target. And then we're going to be setting the delta time by get world delta seconds. And then the interrupt speed is going to be pretty quick, like 250. This is just the, the frame, the amount of interrupt it, it will move. So it will move really fast just to, to update the location of the rope when we're hanging on off uh, any of the, the boxes. Okay, now we just need a set world location of the rope itself. And that's going to be the return over here. Set that to that. Okay. That's all we need to do for this function. Let's compile that. Okay, it's working, no problems. Now what we need to do is make a function to stop the actual grappling. So let's make a custom event and call it stop grapple. Stop grapple. Okay. Let's set our hooked to be false. And our hook move finished. Set that to false as well. This is pretty much a function to reset our, all our variables. Just so um, we're ready for the next next grapple. Okay, we need the grapple line again. And then we're gonna set the visibility back to be invisible. Standard, it's invisible, so that's good. And let's set the world location. Oh, let's drag off this one. Set world location to be zero, zero, zero. Okay, now how do we stop the grapple is the big question. We have a function here for if we uh, if we missed something and we're still hooked, then we can set here to stop the grapple. There we go. This way we'll set all our variables to, uh, to false again, so we can get rid of this one actually. So, it, uh, so if we didn't hit anything with our trace line, stop grappling. This way we will drop from anything we're uh, hanging on to. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do in the jump, I want to make it so if you jump, you also stop grappling. And you also jump up a little after you've grappled, which is pretty cool. So let's get a branch here. Cool. Um, let's add the hooked. So let's check if we're hooked. If we're hooked, I want us to launch the character. And we're going to launch him in the Z direction, which is up, usually. And I'm going to make it so it stops grappling. Ah, I hate these commentary boxes sometimes. Let's get rid of it. There we go. Okay, now also stop grappling after we've uh, launched and finish the jump. Okay, now if it's false, so if we're not hooked, I still want to be able to jump. So let's just uh, hook it up to the grapple and then it uh, avoids the launch character. Otherwise you can just literally keep jumping up. Which uh, wouldn't be that uh, that great. <laughs> now there's one other thing I want to change. I want to make it so that you can't press forward, left or right when you're actually moving, when you're actually hooked. 
So let's disable that by going into these functions here. And let's make another branch. It's pretty easy. If we're hooked. Actually, if we're not, not hooked, you'll be able to move. And yeah, let's duplicate this. Control W. Add that to that. There we go. So if we're not hooked, we'll be able to move fine. But if we're hooked, you won't be able to move. But you're still able to turn and look up and down. So these, these functions are still fine. Okay. I think we're good to go, guys. Okay, let's test it out. That's working. Let's see, the line is updating fine. It's coming out of a chest, but hey, that doesn't matter. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Press spacebar, yep. It's actually uh, using the velocity up a little bit. Yeah, it's working fine. Oh. And indeed, if we hook onto, onto the ledge and then press spacebar, we, uh, we jump up. Cool. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out the description to see um, for the download link for the project. If you're having issues with the tutorial, if you want to know, uh, if you want to see how I did it, then just download the project and uh, open it up. It's made in 4.10, so it should be... Uh, almost the latest version. 4.11 is still in uh, in beta, so check it out. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.